hi, this is Eric. I first met my friend Bob when I got the chance to work with him and his company, Sudden Industries. I soon discovered there was a lot more to Bob than being a nice guy who builds amazing websites. If somebody comes through my door and they're thinking about hiring me in Sudden Industries, one of the first things they do is Google Bob Holmes and Sudden Industries. Well, Sudden Industries, you get the whole story of what a digital agency does, but Bob Holmes brings up a whole row of uh, YouTube videos of me and a bad mullet singing a new wave song from the 1980s. I got this question and I need an answer. What is he doing now? What are they doing now? Back in the early 80s, I was in this band called Rubber Rodeo. One night we were sitting around, we were probably stoned, and we said, imagine if Devo produced Dolly Parton's Jolie. Wouldn't that be unbelievable? And we would just sit there and laugh, laugh, laugh. I think we were the funniest guys on the planet. And um, so that's what we set out to do. We started to do covers of famous country songs in very new wave styles. So um, we all got matching brocade suits. My girlfriend, uh, Trish Milliken, she got the Dolly Parton wig. And we barely even knew how to play our instruments. It was, we just had a concept. Here was our thinking. We have a concept, we have outfits, now we make videos. We gotta be famous. And that, that's actually what happened. We made a couple really good, funny videos that got a lot of airplay in the early days of MTV. And uh, a lot of people started to take notice. Um, we got signed to a major record label. The first videos that we did became the first music videos ever um, nominated for Grammy Awards. And um, then all of a sudden, people thought we knew what we were talking about. <laughs> We never planned to start a rock band. It just kind of happened that way. Uh, you know, 30 years later, I, I listen to those records and I think, what were we thinking? And in hindsight, we're glad that our moment in the sun or whatever was defined and short. Because if we'd have had a little bit more success or lasted a little bit while longer, none of us might have been able to to find a second act or a third act. I was a producer, I was producing records. Through one of, being in a studio, we met a guy named Tony Maserati, um, who uh, was and is an unbelievable engineer, recording engineer, and so he and I partnered up doing mixes and remixes and producing and reproducing for pop acts. And so we had the part where we were producing records, but then we had another part where we were actually marketing records through digital media, and that's how Sudden Industries started. In the early days of Sudden, everyone knew us as like, oh yeah, they're the digital agency for the record industry. We quickly and smartly moved from focusing on music companies to music television. So we started working with MTV and VH1 and Fuse. We've done a lot of work for Nickelodeon over the years that's been very successful. I think, you know, we're always happiest when, when we're doing fun stuff that people appreciate and no one appreciates things more than kids. The last couple of years we've decided, you know what? We want to start creating our own stuff. All based around this, this wild cowboy concept. And I'm like, really? What makes you think you can do that? You've never done that before. And I was like, yeah, I know, but you know, I'd never been in a rock band before either, and I'd never been a record producer before either, and you know, uh, it just sometimes it feels right, and, and, and you just do it. I'm in, I'm in this band called The Krusty Gentleman. It's an unbelievable pleasure and joy in my life. I've played a lot of music over the years and, and I look fondly back at the, the bands that I was in uh, in the past, but the, the Krusty Gentleman is probably the most satisfying thing. Sometimes in life, things are like 
banging at you so fast. Like there's always something new coming at you that even when you're in the middle of something that you should just be stopping and going, oh my goodness, I can't believe this is happening to me right now. I think that it, one of the things that, that it, you know, I just take for granted and sometimes I wonder why I take it, take it for granted is that if there's something you want to do, you can almost will it into existence. Usually, if it doesn't turn into the thing you thought it was going to turn into, it turns into something else that's just as fun or maybe even more.